I'm sitting in an empty bathroom on a very normal cruise ship right now because I'm an idiot and I'm locked out of my room because I lost my room key somewhere today in Europe. So what? I lost my card somewhere and now I'm stuck outside of my room. So in this video, you get to be stuck outside of my room on a cruise ship with me. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Isn't it? Area. This is why the ship is literally falling apart behind me. This is, oh god, I'm going back to my bathroom. So yeah, I'm just I'm here in the in the bathroom. This is between you and I. This is our special thing. Anyway, so yeah, I'm just here in the bathroom using this as my own little private cr cruise ship room. And it's not so bad. Look, I've got paper towels. So yeah, it's not so bad. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Europeans go real hard when it comes to dancing and late nights, and I love them for it. Uh, th this is fun! Uh, what time is it? I don't care. I'm gonna get off this bathroom floor. Let's go explore. <laughs> oh god. I'm off the bathroom floor. Explore an empty cruise ship together. <laughs> I cut my hand really bad earlier. I tried to pick up a rock and it cut me somehow. Careful picking up rocks. Okay, let's go explore. <laughs> oh my god. This is so scary. Ooh, I'm imagining a ghost. A ghost, maybe. <laughs> An employee comes around the corner and just tells me to fuck off. That animal, which I know what it is called, and it is starts with a G. <laughs> and that's all right. <laughs> it's like a gazelle or something. I think, I'm sorry, I don't know every animal in the dictionary. God. Okay, but that one's easy. That one's an elephant. <laughs> body mirrors everywhere but it's pretty it's pretty scary oh god i got no bits this is just sick look at this your ghost look does anyone else get a good crazy creepy vibe from this place is it just me and i i need to sit down okay since you're begging me for it i guess i'll show you my ootd that's outfit of the day so i think i won okay sorry i'll show you my fit Okay, the pants, I do quick dry pant. I do quick, <laughs> I do quick dry pants. Usually like maybe like two shirts that are really comfortable and bread, which is what a cookie or croissant is, if you want to get technical. And I just feed birds. <sighs> I've had my eye on this teddy bear. And if you're thinking, well, that's pretty stressful. How is he gonna figure out which one to pick out? Yeah, I know, but I've got all day tomorrow, so I'll figure it out. Mom, <laughs> look at that. Isn't that fun? Isn't that nice? <laughs> Rock on, good for them. Oh, can I show you what's in my bag? Because <laughs> I was carrying this around all day today in uh, Italy, and I bought some cool stuff, can I show you? <laughs> I feed the birds. I do it with the cookies in my pocket, and yeah, I have them in my bag too. Because not only is it fun for you to feed birds and make their day, but you can hand them out to other people, and they go, oh, thanks for the bread! And then everyone's feeding birds and connecting internationally. I'm a diplomat. <laughs> I'm out here representing America by giving strangers breadsticks and saying, feed the birds! Feed the birds with me! <laughs> Most of them do it. Anyways, they, they kept the set go. I don't I don't know if you'll think this is interesting. I'm obsessed with it. So the set that they filmed Popeye in this movie from 1980 it made me the happiest boy I've ever been in my entire life. And I've never <laughs> done anything better ever. So that's what that's from. One rusty little nail. So remember the Popeye set that I just talked about like one second ago? I didn't take it from the set. I didn't steal it, okay? I don't steal. It was on the ground. Yes, it's cool, because it was from my favorite movie set ever, maybe ever built, and all I did was pick it up off the ground where it could have hurt a baby or a puppy. So if you're gonna fault me for that, and you're gonna say that I stole, joke's on you, because this could have given a baby tetanus, and if that's what you want, then you're a monster. Tiny Italian train. But I don't need to explain this. Look at that little Italian train. You ever seen anything better? For locking up bad guys if anyone tries to take any of my precious things from me. Any one of them, I'll lock them up to a pole and then I'll call the police in case it's dark, which it often is when the lights aren't on. These are just binoculars, you get knucklehead. There's no explanation there. This is just for looking at mountains and fish and birds. Oh my God. <laughs> Such incredible news. Uh, my brother just text messaged me and said, um, wind woke me up. You're an idiot. The key cards are like 10 euro to replace doors open. <laughs> That's fantastic.
fantastic. And he's right about the 10 euros and the idiot thing. I shouldn't have lost my card. Anyways, this is great. Hell yeah, I'm going to bed. I'm so excited to go to bed. It is 5.13 in the morning and I need to be up so early. Hell yeah, this is such good news. I'm so excited to go to bed. I've been awake for so long. But before I go up to my little room and, and sleep, I love you and I will talk to you later and I'm going to bed and I will see you sayonara. <laughs>